Right, realignment. This is real alignment, so as you can see, I'm power the game up, and this reel is out of alignment. As you can see, that reel is completely out of whack. But to show you that the machine is actually uh, faulty when you play a game, we'll, I'll show you. As you can see, it does, the wind line it doesn't line up with the wind line. So there we go, here's a wind, here's a wind spin. As you can see, it should be it should be lighting up as two pound, which does not line up. And it, 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 could be, it would be very confusing in an arcade. So I'm going to show you how to realign the reel. I see a lot, a lot of the reels have come out come misaligned. This is an easy fix. So you're going to open your door. You can have the game on because this is you need the game on to do this adjustment. You don't even you don't even need to put it in test mode. You just need you just need the machine to reset and line the reels up for you. You see the machine's realigned itself. Down there, see that screw? You're gonna you need, you need a screwdriver, you can get a short one or a long one, whatever. I'm gonna use a long one because it's, it's easier because most people are gonna have long ones. You're gonna put it in. Yes, you're gonna hear the reel is gonna moan at you for a little bit. You turn it towards you, and all you're gonna do you going to move, it's like a blue. So that, there's a little blue, this blue tab here, you're just going to move that. And you look at your reels. And you're going to push it up until, until, until you can't, until, if it doesn't adjust no more, you under the screw more. Sorry, it has to go this way. My error. Doing, you have to get these, you have to line these up really easy. You want to, you need to try and line it up with, um, Preferably with the, with the fruits lined up, so in other words, if you've got bar bar bars, try and use the, the bar bar bars to line up. If you haven't, just use the fruit below it. You can get a rough idea. You're going to tighten it back up. Once you confirm that your, your door lined up, you need to take your lower door off. You could take both doors off at the same time. It's up to you. Reload, you're going to reload your top door. Lock your door into its position, so that it's locked in its door lock. As you can see, it's still not quite lined up. So 
what you're going to do now while it's done, well, I'll put it in service mode so the lights just go all off. Again, you've seen that in my previous videos. You can do the step straight away if you want to, or you can just go the easy way. I'm not going to bother going for the settings. You're going to have test reels, and the reels are now lining themselves up. So I've now selected a wing to make it easy for me to line these reels correctly. Again, you just turn your little screw towards you. The reel will will blink if you move it. If you move just slightly, the the light will come on. So just don't do that because you'll get an error. Again, you're just going to push your reel. Do so you think you so you think you got it aligned? I have to put the camera down so I can actually tighten this up without having it move. You can see their reels are lined up. Or just check. So close your lower door. Close your top door and you have a look to see if they're roughly in line. You want them to try and be in line with each other. And then to confirm that it's lined up, you can test, as you can see, it's a jackpot. We'll move it along to something else. You can see that's a perfect match. Now you line it up to something like this. To bells. As you can see, the bit in the centre of the bell. You want the wind corner on all your machine, like this one's got the line. You want to try and line it up with the with that line. Same with this machine. You want to line that black line up with this. Try and get it centred as possible. I like to use. This one, this is a good example to show you if you if you've got your if all your wheels actually line up together. So that one's alright, this one's actually a little bit lower, and that one is a bit lower. So I'm just gonna adjust that one back and I'll show you how you adjust a middle reel. So though, the two end reels are now lined up together. To, to get to the centre reel, you can't just, unfortunately, you can't just take a screwdriver like that. Unless you've got a really long screwdriver, then you could. You have to take your reel out. Now these Gainsman reels, some machines don't have them. But my machine does. It has these black little handles. They're the real quick release. I'll show you on this top door. Oh. There's a real quick arm on this one. You pull it, and it, it, it releases that lock. Not all machines have them, I, I, I'm lucky to have them because my machine still had the battery. But most people lose these tiny black candles and they help you a lot when you want to get your reels out easier. So you pull that and the reel pops up. Now for this one you will have to turn the game off because when you disconnect one reel the alarm will sound. So you turn your game off. Unhook the reel that you're not what you don't want. Pull it up. I can show you the um, that screw better. Here's that screw. And here's that bracket. You undo that screw. You move that along. That slides the adjustment. As you can see, it's been adjusted a couple of times because that as you can see the plastic there's worn away. I can now show you that handle. Here's that handle. Bound to lock, up to unlock. So it's in the down position, it's locked, if it's in the up position, the reel pulls away from there. So now you can get to your centre reel. I'm going to do this one again with the camera down because I can't do it with one hand. And what you want to do is you want to steady the reel when you do this adjustment. You want to put your hand.
You're then going to drop your reel back. So you're going to reconnect your reel. You're going to lock it in place. And you have to be sure this is locked in place. As you push it down, push the lock in, give it a tug. And you check all your reels are in locked. If they're not locked, if they're not pushed in all the way, the door, you shut your door, the reel will actually rub on the glass or it'll look like it's out of alignment. So you turn the game back on. And this is just trial and error. You just have to keep adjusting little by little until you can get them close match. Unlike the deal or no deals. They're quite helpful. I'll just put it in, te I'll get it in test mode so you can see this. That's it, real one. One thing that I like with Bell Fruit is they put little marks on the reels here. See these little marks? On reel one, reel two, and reel three. You can get them lined up all together by using them white lines. So, you, like I said, you can line them up. And these are pretty lined up. As you can see, they are nice and snug. Like this one, we're going to see if we've got them all lined up. That's promising. Oh, of course, yes, some demo, sorry. Let's get a win. As you can see, this one has actually shifted. Reels do shift. The reels will shift if the screw is not tightened down all the way, which I forgot to do. As you can see, rails are lined up again. That's how you do a rail alignment on the Bell Crest machines. I showed a little, and um, also Bell Fruit machines are identical, except they have a sync position, as you can see, sync position, which is, hand, which is quite handy. So that's another one. For someone else, like I said, if you want any more videos on help on the games, put a comment below. Keep subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up.